everybody, it's Steph from Adventure in a Backpack. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on our Sprinter van. When we're not doing maintenance on the van, we travel around full time in our custom DIY Sprinter and have as many adventures as possible. If this sounds like your kind of adventure, be sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell. Let's change the oil. An oil change in a sprinter van is a pretty simple task that can be done by just about anybody with some basic hand tools. A more detailed description of all of the items that you'll need to do this oil change and oil filter change can be found in the description below. You'll need oil, an oil filter, a funnel, a drain pan, an oil filter wrench, a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet, some rags, and a pair of gloves. The first thing we're going to do is drain out all of the old oil. So to do that, we're going to need the socket and ratchet and the drain pan, as well as some gloves and some rags on hand. All right, while the oil is draining, we're going to go ahead and replace the oil filter, um, which is right down here, but to make getting to it a little bit easier, we're gonna move all of this out of the way. Now we're gonna take our oil filter wrench and remove the oil filter. So now I'm going to take the oil filter housing off of the oil filter and put that to the side. Now is a great time to check the oil filter for anything unusual in the oil, uh, such as metal shavings, anything like that. Your new oil filter should have come with two new O-rings. The little one goes right here at the tip of the housing and the big one goes right here. Now all we've got to do is put the uh, filter back into the housing and then we'll put this back in, screw it down and put the oil in. And this just needs to be hand tight. Now let's go underneath and put the oil plug back in. The oil plug just needs to be snug, not overly tightened. Now we're gonna put all of this back together and put the oil back in. Okay, now we've got our uh, funnel and all of our oil and we're gonna just pour it all in. Um, ours takes 12 and a half quarts, but be sure to check your owner's manual for what yours takes. Now we can take the funnel out and put the oil cap back on. Now that we're done with that, we're going to fire it up and check for leaks. And 
now we're going to check the oil level on the dipstick. All right, that looks fantastic. Now we're going to put the dipstick back in here and that finishes us up. So next step will be to uh, just reset your service A counter and that's all for that one. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you've got any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Bye-bye.